Earlier this morning, we saw an architecture to perform analysis on social media streams, real-time analysis on social media. Now we're going to look at another big data architecture and how to efficiently analyze more than 3.5 billion records. So please welcome Mansoor Rad. Thank you, John. Working with big data is challenging because of the volume of the data, the velocity of the data, and the variety of the data. I'd like to share with you today two things that you can do with the RGS tools that you already have. One, spatially analyzing big data, and two, spatially querying billions of records. Let's start with the big data analysis. RGS Online processes 1.7 billion records every month. What I'm showing you here is a density map for all the street map requests in the month of February. What we see is we see, of course, a lot of activity around the urban areas. There was a lot of activity in Germany. But we can see that there's a hot spot in the Southeast Asia region. And actually, there's a reason behind that is because we've been updating that street for that region recently. A lot of activities in Japan, a lot of activities in Thailand. And again, one of the many reasons because of that is because the streets are now annotated in the local language. Let's go now to Europe. We see a lot of activities in Germany and in London. But something very interesting happens if I switch to analyzing all the topo map requests. We see a lot of activity again in the Netherlands and in London. And there is a reason behind this, and that is because the local agencies are producing high quality topo maps. In England, it is the Ordnance Survey, and in the Netherlands, it's the Dutch uh, Cadastral Agency. Basically, if you produce high quality maps and you share it, they, if you build it, they will come and get it. Now, we've been analyzing big data. I'd like to share something with you that I'm very passionate about, and that is querying billions of records. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, a meteor blasted through the atmosphere in Russia. I'd like to do a spatial analysis over the area for all the map requests in the area and the following couple of days to see if there's any trends. So I'm going to be looking for the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th. Let me run this. While it is running, let me share with you the backend architecture. I have a Hadoop cluster of 18 data nodes on commodity machines running MapReduce, Hive, Pig, and Impala. Using an RGIS Python geoprocessing script, I'm instructing Hadoop to perform a spatial and temporal distributed analysis over 3.5 billion records. When the result comes back, I'm telling RGIS to perform a density analysis in such a way I can see hotspots on the map. What used to take hours to run now will take minutes. And the reason behind this is that because we're taking the program and we're sending it to the data rather than taking the data and bringing it to the program. You can see we've returned 1.1 million records in 48 seconds. Pretty impressive. And now we're doing the density analysis. And we can see the trends on the map. Nothing unusual over Moscow. Lots of map requests over Moscow. But if you look to the east of it, we can see a lot of map requests. Why? Because that was the area that was affected with the meteor. So to recap, two things that you can do today with the tools that you already have. You can spatially analyze big data, and you can spatially query billions of records, again, with the RGS tools that you already have. Back to you, John. Thanks, Mansoor. You sound like my college professor. <laughs> he sounds really, really smart, talking about things that I don't totally understand, but I think I definitely understand what used to take me 
hours and hours and days to do, you just did in a matter of seconds by using all those acronyms and all those technologies and putting them all together. Is that right? Yes, and they are real, as I keep saying. You know, I, I geeked out, I know, because I am very passionate about it, you know, and I wanted to share this with all of you, but it is real. Okay, thanks, Mansour.